Good afternoon, everyone. It's Martha here in the Angel Kisses. And I wanted to jump on here right quick and do a video. Um, I have a small haul. And I also have had a request for a haul of my vintage clothes. Vintage baby clothes. And I have so many that I decided I would do dresses today. Then I'll get those put back up and then I'll do some other, another video with the other vintage clothes. But first of all, this is my haul that I got at the Salvation Army. And I just wanted to share it with you. Have you ever seen a cloth diaper? It's the pre-folded kind. It's a cloth diaper and it had this adorable little bunny applique on the one end of it. I haven't ever seen one like that. I think it was a quarter, but I couldn't pass it up because of the bunny. And then this adorable little hand-knitted boy sweater. And it's got a loose stitch back, hick back there, but my daughter knits so she can, and crochets, so she can fix it for me. But I thought it was cute. Look at these little teddy bear buttons. Isn't it cute? It's got long sleeves. It's blue and tan, and then a couple of different shades of blue. It looks like maybe it's a zero to three months. I thought it was adorable. And then I got this vintage blanket. And I've already washed it. I've got a couple of these that are blue, but I have not ever seen the yellow. I just have not seen the yellow, and I think it was $1.99, so I grabbed that. And then at Walmart, I was in there getting a few groceries, and they had these on the clearance aisle for $0.50. Cents. And it's cute little boys' caps. One's gray and white striped with bear ears, I guess it is. And this one's white with little brown bears. And this one's blue with little white trees. But 50 cents. Hey, can't beat that with a stick. And I got my little granddaughter. She she just turned two. And I got this for her. It was a dollar. It's a pink and green skirt. Look, it's got the shorts under it. Of course, it would fit my toddler, too. But I'm going to give it to her. I love pink and green together. It's Garanimals. It'd been $5. It's a 3T. And it was a dollar. And then I got these little pants. They're organic, modern moments, three to six months. And they're the, they call it drop crotch. Drop crotch pants. And they're pink with white drawstring. Three to six months, and they were a dollar. Oh, there's another pack of hats. I've got a great-grandson that's going to be born within the next couple of weeks. So, I thought I'd give him a pack of those. Now, here's my vintage dresses. And as far, besides, I've got three dolls over here with one on. And other than that, that's all of them. And these are in terrible shape. These right here. Guys, this dress is 65 years old. And the reason I know, because it's mine. I don't know where. Oh. I don't know where this would go. I guess it ties around the back, but it's broken. But this was mine. Look at the detail. And the white lace and the little round buttons. This is my theme Thursday this week. See, that's rough. I wouldn't put these on a baby or a doll. They just hang in the closet because I love them. Oh, and the sleeves have the open. Look at that. You ever seen that before? The little shoulders stick out. I thought that was different. They don't make them like that anymore. 
but that one was and here's the next one this one's blue it was mine it's also 65 years old isn't it funny how they put real deep hems in baby dresses back then i don't know why unless it's so they could let them out these don't have tags and they don't have sizes but it's mine as well got little white buttons and it's got smocking it's got a hole right here it's got smocking across the front lace around the little collar with some delicate little flowers that one's 65 years old and here's another one this one was mine but this one does have a tag it says handmade by feltman brothers philippines it doesn't have a size though this one buttons all the way down and it's got look at how tiny that detailing is right there and it's got lace and little flowers it's very very pretty it's almost sheer and this one was mine this one says alfred leon original handmade in the philippines and look the buttons are shaped in a it's either they're meant to be diamond shaped but they could be square there's no tag in this one either it's yellow and it's got smocking across the front look at these little rosettes right here they are tiny they are tiny got the little butterfly sleeves i wore these that snap is going on that one i'll button that in a minute let me lay it over here and here's another one this one was mine my mama had me plenty of dresses didn't she Look at that. You can hardly see it. The dress is so sheer. Look at that little, I don't know what that is. A birdhouse or a house? I don't know. Got tiny little holes. It's just amazing. Look at the bodice. Isn't that tiny 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 work i don't think this one's got a tag no nope yes it does and this one says i can't read it handmade in the philippines and then here's another one this one's about like that last one Handmade in the Philippines. Look at that one. It's sheer as well. Got these tiny little flowers. It's got lace on the bottom. And lace on the top. I mean, these are all mine when I was little. 65 years old. Here's another one. This one's pink. Tiny Tots Original. Handmade. And it's pink, and it's got little pink rosettes with green leaves and lace, little butterfly sleeves. It's in better shape than the others. I don't see any holes in it. They're all worn. They're so old. And now that's all of mine when I was little. Now we're going to, this is the ones I've collected. This is a bubble romper. And I would say this one is from the 80s, maybe. Size three months, C.I. Castro and Company. But you can tell anything that's got a the collar. They don't really make collars like that anymore. And this one is pink. And across it, it says, I love granny. And they're little, they're not pop-out, they were pockets. 
They're not pockets. And it's, I don't know where who made it, but it's pink and it's got butterfly and little striped sleeves. Now this one, I fixed this one myself. It is Southern Sunshine. This one was a size six, little girl six. And what I did is I cut it up the sides. I cut it and I took a bunch out of it. And then I cut it off and I reattached this part to the bottom of the dress and made it shorter. And it's pink with extreme uh, ruching. I think that's ruching. And it's got a green teapot with two green cups. I wanted this for my girls and my top, my babies. I made this for my Maisie before I sold her. And I put a snap. See what I did? I skipped the button to make it smaller. And I put a snap right there, which doesn't hurt the dress. The button's still there. I could use it anytime I wanted to. And this had an, I had enough out of this fabric that I made a headband to match it. Here is a, another, this one more of a longer legged romper. And you can tell this collar, that's what you can tell by the look of that. It's pink and white dotted Swiss. And it's petite a me. Very cute. Here's a blue one. This is a little blue dress. Two shades of blue with a blue bow and little blue rosettes on it. It's made by Cradle Togs. It's a cute little dress. I love blue on little girls. Do you like it, guys? I love blue on girls. And here's this one little cactus, 6 to 12 months. I bought this for Easter dress for my toddler. It's blue and white striped seersucker. It's got two bunnies and some Easter eggs. I don't know how old this one is, but I think maybe I included it in the vintage. I'm not sure how old it is. Here is one. This is also a bubble romper with a big, wide, white collar, and it's got Red and blue and yellow tulip on the front. It's size 12 months. I think it's cute. It's got a tie sash in the back. I didn't even put that on a doll this last summer. Bad me. They get crammed in the back of the closet and I forget I have them. This one is white with blue polka dots. And it's got a red and two blue flower hearts. I guess that's what you call it. But it's a vintage. The tag looks vintage. Very. I've had that on my doll a lot of times. I like it. Here's a green one. It's green with a white collar and it's got smocking across the front. I love that color green. Isn't that pretty? I like it. And I got these at the Salvation Army not too long ago. And they're little boys' overalls. And they're blue and white. Tiny, 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 tiny check. They look like they're made out of linen. They're good quality because they're lined. See the white? They're lined all the way down. And they've got a schoolhouse and two school buses on the front with ruching. See that ruching? Oh, that's a lot of ruching. I don't know how you do the ruching. It's got an American flag on a flagpole. And these are Amarini, Amarini, I don't know, 24 months. Look, even the legs are lined. They're lined all the way down. 
I have not had these on a toddler boy because I didn't have one, but I've got one now. And here is the last dress on a hanger, and it's peach, peachy orange. And it's got three little flowers going down the front. Now that's all of those. I've got this one. This is Grandma Loves Me. It's one of the diaper sets. It's red with white. I think this is vintage. This is a white shirt. It's strawberry shortcake. I've got this. I know it's vintage. It's a little yellow diaper set. And it's got yellow and gold check down the front and across the top. And the little, I think that's a puppy. He's got the same red and white check. This is vintage. It's a little bubble romper that's all different colored stripe and it says sun fun with pink and it is can cat and cat and candy and then I got this one not long ago with the Salvation Army. I run into some vintage stuff pretty regularly there. It's red, white, and blue. It's got a little teddy bear with an applique bear on it. Then I got this one. It's red and white with red and white check squirrels. And I think this is one of my favorites right here. It's actually got the little pants diaper cover with it. And it's green and it's got an adorable little floral teddy bear with a big pink bow. And it's got white sleeves. And I like this one. This one has the little diaper pants. And it's pink and white floral with a white collar. And it's got pink and blue flowers. And here's one with the diaper cover pants. And it's yellow. And it's got a kitty cat and a cute little dress. She's embroidered on there. And she's got on a little yellow hat and a little white dress. It looks like her black eyes off of that is faded some, somewhat. But that's all. That is enough. Guys, that was a lot. I may let this go for my vintage, my lacy vintage week this week. Because here are my two of my girls. And they're sitting up here in vintage dresses as well. This is Ellie, and she's got on this pink and white. She's the Allura kit. She's got pink and white. It's pink, and it's got a two-piece, call it a pinafore. It's got smocking. And here's my grumpy sage. Look at that mouth. <laughs> she's my portrait baby of my granddaughter. And it's a vintage pink and white checked. And the white pinafore on it has got little pink roses. They're good friends. They sit up here and run the nursery. Sage got real sleepy, though. This is Isla Jean. She's sitting here all, all happy. You see what I did to her pacifier? I slit that nipple open and I put a magnet down in there. And it goes in her mouth. Okay, guys. That's my theme Thursday and my haul and my vintage collection video for the week. I hope y'all have a wonderful weekend and a wonderful Veterans Day. Thank a veteran. My daddy was a veteran from World War II. He's passed away now. Been gone 35 years. So I still miss him every day. Every day I think of him. Here's a picture of him. I'll do my part for Veterans Day. Here's my sweet daddy. He was cutting his birthday cake. Guys, he died from cancer at age 62. 62 years old. I've got to find somewhere to put that up. He was 62 years old. And I miss him every day. 
But anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful Veterans Day, thanking veterans and doing our part. And uh, have a good weekend, guys, and I'll talk to you later. Uh, thank you a lot. We'll talk to you later. Bye.